Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update where we decide whether Bitcoin is going to go up or whether it is going to go down. <laughs> Just kidding. One one day, one day in the gym and I already think like I'm massive. Um, but, but anyway, I feel like I feel like I am on the basis that my muscles are aching so much. But obviously, that's just because I haven't haven't been training uh, much over the past um, the past. Um, I don't even know how long. Maybe even half a year. Who knows? Who knows? I've lost track. Lost track now. Um, but anyway, this is our Bitcoin morning update. Um, so yeah, I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. So we shall go straight over to those. Bitcoin four hour chart. So yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour, as you can see, pretty much topped on a, um, a twelve hour. Uh, sorry, a twelve hour, a four hour nine. Um, had a bit of an indecision candle, as you can see, a Doji candle, um, and then proceeded um, to actually sell down to our um, support level, where you can see we very nicely. Um, Traded below, wicked below, and then um, closed the candle basically at the level, um, and then um, bounced from there. So nice to see the um, nice to see the levels are being respected. But this is this is the bullish case for Bitcoin uh, at the moment um, is to is to consolidate and hold sixty two thousand um, dollars. Um, sounds crazy even saying it like that. Sixty two thousand um, dollars per Bitcoin absolute madness but um but yeah so if we can consolidate above there um and then yeah i mean um onwards onwards and upwards um deep into the 60ks um we will potentially be going um obviously these will be our levels to um watch out for for our closures below um so obviously this level um or taking out this uh, this wick um we will potentially see well a move down to um either 60k um or or potentially oh, stop it um or um or the next level which will basically be 58k but i mean um yeah would would have to just have to play it how how it how it happens but obviously this is our major uh, our more major support level the 58k um but we do look like we have got upward momentum here um, and we have kind of um bro broken above basically to all time highs so um, and we do have the Coinbase listing in, um, obviously selling off a bit, um, but hey, um, that's not necessarily a reflection on actual Bitcoin, but um, that's just maybe a reflection of the ridiculous price um, that they, um, that, well, it was listed at, um, but hey. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin, yeah, Bitcoin looking, looking basically potential sideways. I mean, we could end up just trading within this 62 to, well, pretty much 66K of obviously our recent high is 65K. So maybe 62 to 65K range consolidate here for a bit, maybe have some, um, wicks below towards 60K, maybe have some wicks above. Um, but yeah, um, we'll obviously have to see, have to see how this plays out. No immediate, um, bearish reaction to Bitcoin. Um, from the Coinbase listing, and no real immediate bullish reaction because obviously we knew we had this move before beforehand um, yesterday morning. So um, all the action is over in our good old friend Ethereum. Um, so if we have a look at basically the, in fact, we'll zoom out a bit here. Um, if we look at the major level that I drew in. Um, basically saying this is the area we've got to get over. Um, I even made this line thicker, so there, <laughs> so there it is. Um, and we are above that at the moment. Obviously, not close this daily above it. Um, but yeah, um, this is the point where I am. I am targeting um, basically the top of this channel. Um, so a a nice a nice. Um, well, <laughs> a couple of swing failures, a swing failure below here, um, swing failure below here. But we don't necessarily have to call these swing fa failures. I mean, we could just look at the horizontals. Um, you know, I'm not a massive fan of, of um, non-horizontal lines. But either way, um, this is the important zone that we needed to get through. As you can see, our bull flag um, target. Uh, obviously a bit of an elongated bull flag but we pretty much stayed within that trading range that tight trading range but yeah um not far off that target now but more importantly we're above this horizontal at, at present obviously this is a daily um not closure at present above this horizontal um and if we basically start closing closing over here holding this level then i mean 
yeah, um, there could be there could start to be some real FOMO um, into into Ethereum. So this is particularly um, particularly good to see. Um, let's uh, we'll have a look at the USD pairing. I mean, you guys know I'm not over I'm never that overly interested in the USD uh, pairing. But um, yeah, as you can see, um, we've also got this um, um, bull flag target um, not too far away from. So yeah, can we potentially squeeze a bit more juice out of this move before we get a consolidation or um, retrace um, that's over twenty six thousand dollars sorry over two thousand six hundred dollars wishful thinking there um, and then also the ethereum um, the ethereum BTC pairing yeah we'll just call that um, not spot not four um, so yeah maybe we get one um, last little push up um, before potential sideways or maybe we just keep catapulting our way upwards um we shall see what is catapulting its way downwards is the dollar uh is the dsy that we were um well we were looking at the levels it will it's, it's increasingly looking like this is a local high i mean this is basically the line in the sand for any any hopes of a medium term um well any hopes of revisiting this high or going on onwards and upwards without testing more downside um, and but we are on a four hour nine um, so we potentially gonna get acceleration into it tap this level and bounce and consolidate maybe um, but obviously this is um, this is <laughs> the longer this goes on the more bearish it looks um, and the more we are now uh, more we will be looking for a well um, well yeah down down to the 88s down to the um, two fat ladies for you guys that are from the I don't know if you guys have these bingo terms in the US or wherever you guys are from but yeah two fat ladies 88s um, things that I, I mean I, I guess I doubt, I doubt they say that I've been going anymore now you know the crazy politically correct world that we live in at the moment um, but anyway um, let's also that 10 year um, Ten year. I mean, this is looking like it wants to. Um, this is downward postured, and if you take out this level, we're going to come and test lower. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on that. Um, and obviously, here is um, the S and P um, looking looking all right there as well. So not too much to look out at, at, and much else to look at here. Generally speaking, we are looking good. Oh, I will show you that um, that indicator that I'll show you guys, um, the super trend, because we did go through a period of um, of chop um, where it doesn't actually do so well, um, as you can see. Um, this period here I'm sort of talking about, um, you can see the sells of buys, the sells of buys. I mean, it didn't do badly, but um, it did mess you about a little bit. But there were profits in a lot of these um, trades, um, a lot of these signals, but not any of the proper trending ones um, like, um, well, um, like we've had now a nice, a nice move up. But yeah, as you can see, it has triggered a short here. Um, but um, this is obviously the counter trend short. Um, to obviously we know what we know is our macro trend up so obviously you don't necessarily expect such a good hit rate people that trade this um will often set their bots up to um you have two time frames um this is on a on well i say it's a 15 minute it's not like a 15 minute chart i mean you can see how often it flips um it stays in in a direction for a few days um but you can use a higher time frame one to then um, give you the overall buy or sell trend um, and then you then take this this time frame positions um, when they um, correlate with the higher time frame. So, so yeah, um, yeah, just pointing that out. And so obviously you can see you would have taken this one, nice move up, this one, nice move up, and not really be taking the short ones. This one, nice move up, not taking this one. This one, you may have you um, would have taken a, a hit on. Um, obviously when it flipped, but you can see there's not much in it. And then you're back to the green again. Uh, but yeah, I did want to show that this had obviously been flip flopping around, so it wasn't the most um, the the most useful, but it wasn't necessarily not useful depending on how you how you use it. Um, so yeah, stochastics, stochastics. What are they looking like? Um, what are they looking like? Um, four hour, yeah, four hour um, coming down, looking like um, it's just gonna weigh on price action a little bit here. Um, Ten hour starting to um, turn down as well. Um, 12 hour starting to curl over a little bit also daily still look everything above is obviously still going to be looking great um, but yeah we can see the 4 10 hour and 12 hour um, looking like they could potentially put some um, downward price action so downwards um, pressure on price action so do we just do we do we hold 62k then 
um, trade sideways, consolidate here whilst those um, lower time frame um, stochastics um, um, reset. Uh, or do we do we lose 62k then potentially come back down to 60k i mean any any of those zones 62k is the ultimately bullish um is is the uh, is the best case scenario for this support which obviously was our initial support but if we do start to come back down uh, again and we're not far from it at all are we really like 800 dollars or so away um then yeah i mean 60k maybe looks like a nice um round number support also and obviously you can see a lot of confluence there so maybe we will be coming to take out this low and test test lower but obviously we've got our levels to look at either closing a four hour below here or or basically trading wicking below here we'll probably see us um get down to 60k and not it's not that's not the worst i mean that's a good level really for us to be consolidating over um especially in the context of these sarcastics um getting a bit tired on the sh on the shorter time frames but ultimately the high time frames are looking good um so wherever we do find a shorter term bottom if we do test lower um you would expect those higher time frame ones are just going to pull through and um and it'd be a bt a btfd opportunity um so yeah that is it guys remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always um do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon